that's creative and talented. What advice can you share to anyone that has been either a saving grace for you and or something that has just helped you emotionally and mentally to keep moving forward and not giving up on yourself? Yeah, I think for me, it's always something that I preach to anyone who asks this question is just consistency. When I released my first single, it, I did all of these crazy marketing tactics and it got about 500,000 streams. And I was like, okay, I did all this crazy stuff. I barely spent any budget. I'm just going to keep following up. Clearly, I did something in the right direction. So let me just keep following up. And so since then, I've been able to hit that Eight million stream mark on on Spotify, and it's really just all from being so consistent. Like I always say, you never hear hear anyone say I, I use a different word, but for today's purposes, I'll say. But um, you never hear of anyone say I worked my butt off and never got anywhere. You're you're always like. Okay, you hear of the, you know, I, I read a book like the Kobe Bryant book and 50 Cent and they all have these books. And it's like, if you just work hard, it's bound to take you somewhere like it might not take you somewhere quickly, but eventually that hard work is going to pay off. So consistency is something that I really preach. And then my grandfather always said, if someone tells you no, go ask someone else. So that is a motto that I live by and I've had more doors closed than open, but I just either go ask someone else or I just have decided to build my own doors and walk through them. So I think especially like I was saying in today's day and age, we have access to so many things that people didn't back even just 20 years ago. So to be able to access people all around the world and create relationships and fans, it's just been something that I've really tapped into and been consistent with and just kind of never taken no for an answer. Isn't that nice? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are definitely some times where it's like, oh, dang another door closed, but I've never had it in my head where I say like, uh, let me just quit. I uh, just need to give up. Uh, it's, it's too much or, you know, nothing's happening. I've never had that thought in my head. And maybe that the kind of mindset you need to have success, especially in an, an entertainment industry, because there are a lot of no's, Uh, But the yeses make it that much sweeter when you have to go through so many no's. Um, When the success comes, then it's, you know, even more sweet. What do you do in between, like behind the scenes? Like what is your, your daily life like? Well, I've always been tempted to move to the West Coast. I heard you talking about the weather. That's definitely a pull. And then, of course, the the whole entertainment industry has kind of moved out there. There's still, some, you know, some in New York City and Atlanta, especially music wise. Um, but I have chosen to stay where I am, uh, especially because my brother is now on the Yankees. So it's just a couple hour drive to go to his games. And I've been able to really make a life and a living for myself and try to have as much balance in my life as possible where I like my nine to five is just working on my music. And then I really try to not go too far past that and then spend time with family um, and try to have that balance. I feel like in the beginning of my career, I was so heavily focused on it and making sure that I was making money and that I I was able to survive on, on just working for myself. And now, fortunately, I'm in a place where I feel comfortable with it. And I know if I put in X amount of work, I'll get x amount back so i've one of my goals for 2022 was to have more balance in my life and stop putting so much pressure on myself and i feel like i did a pretty good job at that it's not always easy but my day to day is really like working a nine to five for myself and then trying to kind of spend some quality time with family mixed throughout the week And then I say it's a nine to five, but the second after I finish dinner, I'm kind of right back to working. Even if it's watching a Netflix show, I'm still on my phone (laughs) and doing work. So I'm not the best at balance, but I'm getting a lot better. 